This is the world famous Big Sur Coast, home to the mighty California condor. Once a healthy and stable population here, the species is now critically endangered. Today, we're gonna learn how one organization is bringing them back from the brink of extinction. So the adventure officially begins right now en route to the California Condor Sanctuary. We've gotta traverse some pretty gnarly terrain in the backcountry. All right, so almost two hours later, and finally arriving here at the Ventana Wildlife Society Condor Sanctuary. And what a great sign, you guys. There's, I counted eight condors flying around the property right now. Keep in mind, there was no guarantee that we would see condors at all today. So the fact that we're pulling up and there's eight of them flying is a good sign for what's to come. Tell us about the work you do with the Condor Restoration Project and specifically here at the sanctuary. Yeah, about 25 years ago, we started a reintroduction program for the California Condor. We work closely with zoos who raise them in captivity and we release them here at the Condor Sanctuary and care for them in the long run. Really, it wasn't too long ago that the Condor was actually extinct in the wild, right? What, what drove that extinction and, and what are you doing to ensure their survival moving forward? Yeah, they almost went extinct for, for mostly one reason, and that is the ingestion of lead ammunition that they commonly find in their food supply. They got down to just 22 birds in 1982, and now we have about 200 free flying in California, and we're working closely with hunters and ranchers to provide them with free copper ammunition. Big Sur is ideally suited for the California condor for a variety of reasons, but probably the best reason is that coastline right here, because it offers a lot of food resources. We've seen condors feed on things like whales, sea otters, dolphins, you, know, you name it, it's washing up on these shorelines. And that's what condors do best, they clean up the landscape. The other reason why this is such an ideal habitat for them are these big giant redwood trees that they like to nest in. So condors are an incredible bird that have a very vast range, right? They can cover 100 plus miles a day, which must pose quite a challenge for the biologist to track these birds. We use GPS tracking devices that the condors carry on their wings. Uh, it's very, very lightweight, so it doesn't affect them at all, of course. And uh, it's just amazing data. We're able to determine their nest sites, where they're foraging, what flight paths they take, and we're using all that information to further the recovery of the species. One of the other ways that you monitor these birds is by using what they call the condor cam, right? Oh yeah. And, and people anywhere with an internet connection can log in and see these condors up close with the condor cam. So we have two different condor cam locations. One's in a nest inside of a redwood cavity. In 2020, we were able to watch a uh, condor chick being raised for six months while it was on camera, and we will be able to do that again. What do you want the world to know about condors, Kelly? The thing about condors that, that I like the most is that they're extremely social and very gregarious. They take care of each other. They're long-lived, they're intelligent. What I want people to do is look past their looks and look at the personality. This is a classic Beauty and the Beast scenario. Let me show you around, Ross. What we have here is a condor release facility. That's what's used when we get the birds from the zoos to get them ready for release. We also have a bunkhouse, a research facility for our biologists, water system, roads, you know, other infrastructure. Unfortunately, the fire last uh, August destroyed it all. But the habitat is still here and the condors are still here. So we're gonna keep working at it. And something really cool happened while we were visiting. So Kelly, right as we got here today, we were fortunate to come across about eight condors right off the bat. They were here feeding at the sanctuary and then they kind of jumped up when they saw us and started taking flight. And most of them eventually took off, but we've got two juveniles behind us right in this tree. I mean, how lucky are we that we got to actually see the condors today? I think we're extremely lucky and uh... We also are lucky to see one of the wild-fledged condors that was raised right here last year. So we're out here on the sanctuary and 
have had a lot of really amazing encounters all day with these beautiful condors, but actually one of the dominant condors actually just flew right over the top of my head, flapping his wings and landed right on that perch out on that rock. I'm literally 20 yards from this beautiful, huge condor. It's got like a nine foot wingspan and is right there taking off. Oh. Oh. Wow. My heart is racing, you guys. That, that gives me the chills. We are so blessed today to have that experience. While there is still much work to be done to protect this species, the Santa Lucia range of Big Sur is once again home to the magnificent California condors.